So, Governor Abercrombie. Thank you very much, Dean. Aloha, everybody. Aloha. Thank you for that overwhelming enthusiasm at this point. I think I'm the last speaker, so we're going to be able to get to what needs to be done. Aloha. Aloha. Good. The reason that uh, I'm especially enthusiastic this evening uh, is that this is a, a little bit of a, of a dream come true. Uh, it's also a, a little bit selfish on my part because uh, when I was elected governor, uh, my wife, uh, Dr. Nancy Ellen Carraway, in fact, I want to introduce, uh, this is Dr. Nancy Ellen Carraway. I'm her lovely husband, Neil Abercrombie. <laughs> uh, she came to me uh, one day and she said, well, you're the governor. I knew I was in big trouble almost instantly. Uh, she said, uh, uh, Louis coming over, Louis Bousquet, Professor Louis Bousquet, and uh, we have a, a proposition for you, which is her way of saying, here's what your marching orders are going to be. And uh, it had to do with the Hawaii Language Roadmap Initiative. And I was immediately intrigued with it. Uh, uh, Nancy, as some of you uh, may know, is, uh, is well versed in, in uh, two languages uh, besides English, uh, French and, and Spanish, uh, particularly French. Uh, professor Bousquet was her professor uh, as she continues her fr French language studies here uh, at the University of Hawaii. Uh, we have ch a chance periodically to be able to explore that that world, I love going on, on the, the trips that Nancy and I take to France because no one has a clue as to who I am, could care less. Uh, well, it's France, they could care less anyway, but uh, uh, it gives Nancy an opportunity to do things uh, like I, I, which I, I admire her for. Uh, she's the only person I know who can seriously get into an argument in a French taxi cab with the driver as to what the proper declension of a particular verb is <laughs> and when. <laughs> and she indicated to me we're, we're about to go on another one of, of these trips. We went to, to uh, Paris on our 30th anniversary and uh, she indicated to me that I need uh, for this trip learn only one thing uh, clearly. En sont les toilettes. <laughs> this apparently is because she said she would be concentrating on je vous du champagne. <laughs> <laughs> no. The dean was kind enough to mention uh, that I took tours <laughs> to, uh, to Europe. Uh, Luckily, the university was not sued uh, in the <laughs> aftermath of this, but I had, I, what I did is a, a company, uh, the then uh, chair, uh, a, a teacher, instructor, a professor, and uh, subsequently chair of the art department of Leeward Community College, Barbara Saramini's gone, who is the, the uh, uh, current chair of the State Foundation of Culture and Arts, uh, in uh, taking uh, students on what we uh, <laughs> broadly called study abroad uh, at that time, which meant a summer tour through American Express, led by yours truly and, and, and Barbara. And uh, we, we, it was marvelous, it was wonderful. Although I'm not quite sure that we could claim as a, a complete success, a sterling success in order to, to advertise and to market uh, the study abroad tours, in as much on, as on the first one, uh, by the time we left from Europe to come back to Hawaii, we had already lost one student who became enamored of a particular vendor in Florence and stayed behind and got married. So 
I notice the laughs are not quite as big and as solid uh, with that one. Uh, by the way, they're still married, and uh, uh, I'm, so we're happy we launched that. But that was kind of, of the extent uh, 35, 40, half a century ago uh, when, uh, when we were first putting this kind of, a, of an international program, if you will, uh, together. Uh, of course, we, all, we understood the, the, the importance of language and, and, and its diversity. Um, I uh, recall when M Maya Angelou uh, was here. She said, in diversity there is beauty and there is strength. Uh, and our islands obviously, as the previous speakers have enunciated only too well, uh, exhibit uh, uh, the possibilities of uh, our diversity, our cultural diversity here in Hawaii, leading to uh, the opportunity, particularly for our education system here, uh, to promote uh, Hawaii as the anchor of the Asia Pacific region. Does anyone here seriously doubt that the 21st century will be the century of Asia Pacific? That the Asia Pacific region, if you will, uh, the entire Pacific Rim will become the center focus uh, of attention, political, economic, and social, in, as this century unfolds. This is an enormous, uh, uh, enormously fecund opportunity uh, for us uh, to take uh, the initiative the language initiative, uh, and to uh, support it to the fullest extent uh, pos possible. So when Louis and, and, uh, 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 and, and Nancy uh, spoke to me about it, and then we got together with uh, Susan Duggan and, and, uh, and, and Dean Blave Roman, uh, uh, I committed the administration to being as supportive as we possibly can be, and we want to work that partnership and make that happen. Uh, this, I had this in mind, by the way, uh, uh, with my emphasis, and I'm going to lobby you tonight. If we're serious, and I know everybody here tonight is serious about the issue, then this has to start at preschool. We have to have a preschool system in this state or we are cheating our children of their opportunity to participate in the 21st century. We're depriving them of that opportunity. Just this, this, uh, this past weekend, uh, we were in the company of parents, uh, uh, multicultural parents, as exist all throughout uh, the uh, 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 islands, uh, whose children are, are uh, becoming fluent in, in not just in two languages, sometimes in three uh, languages. And, to, and for them, this is the ordinary course of their existence. It's part of their quotidian life. It doesn't strike them as strange. They're malleable in the best sense of that word because they're utterly innocent. They haven't, they haven't learned, I can't do that, or that's something that's impossible for me. And so this is what our opportunity is. And of course we need to support it, and that means we have to make the, the proper investment. Uh, and, and that's the way I look at it. This is not just a question of spending more. This is a question of the correct investment in the future of our, of our children. The roadmap and the initiatives associated with it, everything from creating a coordinating entity, which will be crucial, and creating the proper database and web portal for the language needs, no question about that, uh, and, and retaining the multilingual talents of the islands. I think uh, uh, Betty, in, in, in particular, uh, uh, made it uh, crystal clear, as, as well as, as uh, uh, Dr. Makua made quite clear that we have an opportunity because of the ongoing infusion of language diversity in our state. Per capita, we probably have more people coming in speaking more languages into our state than probably anywhere else in the United States. There may be greater numbers in some states, but they're limited in terms of the diversity of the language base uh, that is gaining a steady infusion. So in terms of English being a second language, that is to say, the secondary language for many of the people who come here, even though it may be the first language that's heard on a regular basis by the children or grandchildren, that the language diversity is still extant in, in, uh, on the, in and on the islands of, of, of Hawaii uh, gives us an incredible opportunity to build on that. And what it takes then is an organizational uh, construction that will be able to take advantage of that. And that's what the Language Roadmap Initiative is all about and why it needs to be supported. 
So I'll be calling uh, on you as we move into this next legislative session uh, to, to go and lobby. Each of you, you come from very, very d diverse areas. Find out who that legislator is in the House. Find out who that legislator is in the Senate and lobby those folks. Let them know that we have to have the support, the monetary support that's necessary to invest in human capital that will turn the opportunity that Hawaii now has to meet its destiny and its destiny opportunity in the, in the 21st century uh, here uh, in, in Hawaii. Believe me, believe me, as we work towards uh, getting the visa waiver uh, throughout the Asia area, including China itself, when that comes, uh, the opportunity for Hawaii to shine more than just as a hospitality destination area, uh, but as, as a place where people will feel comfortable, including in their education, whether it's the University of Hawaii itself, or whether it's Chaminade, whether it's HPU, uh, 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 whether it's uh, uh, Brigham Young University in Laie, uh, whether it's any other uh, uh, higher educational opportunity uh, here in Hawaii, the East-West Center, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the uh, attractiveness of Hawaii as a destination in terms of international education couldn't uh, be more opportune than it is right now. And the active reach that's out there right now needs to be supported. The University of Hawaii and the affiliated uh, 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 public institutions and private universities need to co collaborate and coordinate to see to it that we become the center of that international uh, language explosion that can take place here uh, in the Asia Pacific region. So when I said to you, it's a, it's a, a bit selfish almost of me uh, being up here tonight, what I really meant uh, by that, of course, is, is that this is an opportunity that I welcome. Uh, this is something that, that uh, uh, gives me the opportunity as governor to be supportive in, in, in the most uh, effective way I can be to the lead that's been taken uh, by the Language Roadmap Initiative and everybody associated with it. So can we uh, resolve this evening then? Uh, to regard each other as partners and colleagues. And if there's someone here tonight or, or a dozen people that you see around you that you don't know, please take advantage of the opportunity. Don't, for the, for at least for the first five minutes or so, can we take a little vow not to speak to somebody that we know? I'm serious about it. Uh, and, and just find somebody you don't know and find out uh, what it is, what, what brought them here tonight. Uh, what, what is it that, that is uh, the, the focus of their attention? What kind of commitment do they have? What kind of personal satisfaction has been gained? What kind of vision of oneself and Hawaii's future do you have that brought you here this evening? Because I think there's a very, very powerful force uh, loose here this evening uh, with the folks that are gathered here. You're representative of a much broader and deeper uh, capacity in the state of Hawaii to effectuate these goals, these eight initiatives that are associated with the roadmap. And if we all take tonight then as the launching uh, point uh, for a, 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 and a commitment to the success of the Hawaii Language Roadmap Initiative, I know that we can gather again in, in time to come, uh, whether it's in the upcoming legislative session, its aftermath, or the implementation of, of the entire initiative package that we can get together again periodically uh, and increase our numbers and uh, be able to do it on the basis that we are in fact seceding. Yes, our diversity does define us rather than divide us. And a diversity of language opportunity uh, in Hawaii, I think, is the opportunity of the 21st century for Hawaii. Thank you very much. Mahalo nui. Arigato gozaimasu. Merci beaucoup.